Hello and welcome to your Active's EU Tweets of the Week. Roman Abramovich Googles poison detection, Viktor Orban unravels before Hungary election and Zelensky makes a Belgian connection. As the war in Ukraine rumbles on, actors from around the world have been trying to facilitate peace with Czech's notes, Turkey leading the pack. Another surprise cameo was Roman Abramovich, who apparently, checks notes again, experienced symptoms of poisoning after a meeting in Kiev. Hang on, is it April the 1st? It is, but that's still true. Leading João Silva to wonder if this is his favourite tea. Maria Pevchik was more concerned about the mass hypnosis or widespread memory loss. People are genuinely wondering, is Abramovich a good guy now? I think we have a proverbial wolf in sheep's clothing here, agreed Malvolio. Sports washing really works, added David Amoyle. Someone else who's not buying it? Yep, UK President Vladimir Zelensky. We don't believe anyone, not a single beautiful word, he said. Elsewhere, Hungary goes to the polls on Sunday and, according to a senior opposition leader, the playing field is so uneven that the six-party opposition coalition, United for Hungary, would need a 3 or 4% win over Fidesz to have a simple majority. That's impossible, according to Szabolcs Panyi. Daniel Freund argues that the elections are being distorted by a government with autocratic ambitions and a European Commission that has remained inactive for too long. However, he believes the opposition still has a chance to win because they fight against corruption and for EU democracy. Well, we'll see what happens in the election next week. Champagne bottles will be opened in Brussels if Orban loses. And not just in Brussels, added Carrie Selenin. According to independent media Telex Who, if the governing Fidesz party wins the election, 28% of the working population thinks it's not worth staying in the country. Well, they might have a point, as Orban went a bit bonkers this week, hating on... Czech's notes yet again. Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky. I am a lawyer working with the knowledge I've gathered in the world of law. Someone who is an actor works with the knowledge he has gathered as an actor. I don't see anything special about this, stated Orban. Uh, Zelensky has a law degree and also a degree in humanity, which Orban will never obtain, snarked T. Nash. Even Polish President Andrzej Duda, normally an ally of Hungary's ruling National Conservatives, said it is hard for me to understand the approach of Hungary's Viktor Orban towards Ukraine. Leave it to Le Chou for the headline. Viktor Orban goes completely mad, accuses Ukraine of election meddling and sending tractors to the Hungarian border. Finally this week, President Zelensky addressed the Belgian parliament yesterday. But wait, which one? If Zelensky dials in to the right Belgian parliament at the first try, he definitely deserves his EU membership for Ukraine. No discussion, tweeted Diego Velacquez. Zelensky dials in to Belgium's German-speaking community parliament by mistake, joked Le Chou, and the Flemish parliament, and the Walloon parliament, and the Brussels capital region parliament, and the French-speaking community parliament. Zelensky dials in to Belgium's actual parliament and asks, what the hell is wrong with you people? Did he try the Senate? asked Lydia Simova innocently. Can't you organise a decent war like other civilised countries? added Hugo Leighton. Too soon, Hugo. Too soon. And that's it for this week. Do join me again next Friday for more snarks and larks in the Brussels bubble Twittersphere.